I love the color contrast and everything that is going on. But what it do? Hey guys, what it do? It's what it do. My name is Akosia Benghini. If you're new, you're welcome. In today's video, in all honesty, I wanted to do the intro at the end because I'm gonna, I feel like I want to do this, but I also really want to do something else. But in today's video, we're going to be doing a fall makeup look because obviously you see me wearing brown and we're in fall season. So I intend to do a whole lot like fall looks, you know what I mean? Like I intend to bring you guys a whole lot of fall looks. So today's video is no exception. But let me say though, a little disclaimer before we get into the video my microphone i left my microphone's attachment somewhere my heart and so this video i'm not recording with my microphone so if the audio is bad or echoey in any way please definitely forgive me never an intention of mine like i didn't think i was gonna film today and here i am so forgive me but let's get into the video so today's video i'm gonna be doing a full makeup look using products that i actually will be using to do my makeup during this fall and also i figured i don't have a foundation routine like i deleted the old one go back and go and check i deleted it so i figured i have to also run you guys through my current like foundation routine base routine so this this tutorial or this makeup look is probably going to be mainly about <clears throat> it's going to be mainly about my my base and like how i get my base done and for fall precisely so i hope that you guys like this video but yeah without further ado let's just get right into it <laughs> today we have a little half up half down situation i hope that you guys like it so let's take a minute to appreciate the skin because the skin is looking good and glowy isn't it i feel like my skin i'm pmsing but my skin is doing amazing so that is that now, first of all you have to make sure that your skin is prepped obviously i already did that skincare is done sunscreen is done so i'm gonna go straight into my primer and the primer that i've been loving lately don't even ask me <laughs> i know fall is all about like dewy because fall in itself is very dry like fall into winter is very drying my skin gets very dry in winter so i usually have to switch up my skincare and my makeup products so but my primer or the primer that i've been loving that doesn't dry me out because it's a soft matte primer so it doesn't really dry me out but it's the fenty beauty pro filter primer it's the soft matte primer i've had this for a while and it's still going strong i love this primer in all honesty they say that it's a soft matte primer but i feel like because my skin is oily on its own it doesn't make it too much so if you have my skin type then this primer the best and this is the only primer that if i can say or if i do say so myself this is the only primer that i put all over my face i usually would keep primers in areas where they need to be kept but this primer i put all over my face i make sure that's all over <laughs> has it like every part of my face has it and see it really is soft matte because it's not like dry dry matte you guys see like you do see that my face doesn't look shiny like it was when i came to sit here but it also doesn't look like matte you know next will be my foundation and obviously the foundation that i've been loving i feel like i've used this foundation so many times you guys know about it by now but this is definitely the foundation that i'm keeping this for like it's dewy it's hydrating obviously it's not dry and it's fall obviously this is the kind of foundation that we need so i always say that this foundation needs a whole video on its own i never come around to doing it but this is the foundation that i'm going to be using it's the nyx born to glow naturally radiant foundation this foundation is the one foundation that i feel like is for me like it's perfect for my makeup it stays on depending on what kind of products you pair with it it does stay on i'm using my real techniques brush to blend it out this is their buffing brush and need i say much this brush just gets the job done my exposure is down a little i don't know if i should turn it back up but i think the lightning is not bad this is what i want to see when i'm doing my foundation like don't make me i i don't think that i gravitate towards matte foundations in all honesty i don't like for my foundation to be too dry like 
give me some kind of some kind of glow like you need to like if you say that you're matte at least still have some glow this is not matte anyway but i love the fact that it has a glow to itself it's a natural radiant or a naturally radiant foundation so obviously it has like a tint of glow to it but i love it i absolutely love the coverage that it gives you and it's like very black girl friendly like do you guys see this <laughs> life oh my god <laughs> next i'm gonna go i'm gonna go in with my concealer and lately this is the one that i've been loving it's the maybelline fit me is this a matte concealer because honestly everything on the concealer is erased almost everything but <laughs> this is in a shade 55 hazelnut and it's perfect with this foundation it is perfect with this foundation and this concealer is like the perfect shade for me for days when i want to do a highlight and i don't want to go overboard this is just it so you guys already know my highlight trick i go in the corner like that bring it down i use my highlight to sort of contour my nose so if you've been watching my videos for a while then you should definitely know that it doesn't dry fast so you can take your time with the blending and the coverage is also very beautiful i'm sure this foundation has a name for itself <laughs> i don't even have to say so much but yeah oh today the cars are like all over they're deciding that you know what today's a day that we want to drive i'm gonna use my beauty blender this is the elf beauty blender i'm gonna use that to just go over the concealer make sure that is well blended deal with all these things that i have here <laughs> So I'm just going to go over it again, slightly tapping, making sure that it's blended, not taking the job that the brush did. Ooh. Say what? <laughs> Are you speaking my language? Okay. So concealer is done. Now we're going to go ahead and do contour. Contour. Say contour. Con Tour. for today's contour we're gonna use the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is in the shade rich ebony i recently just discovered that this is a beautiful contour shade for daytime or for actually for every day for me because i don't like a harsh contour i don't and i use my brush go over the is it the dofu applicator dofu <laughs> yeah i'm gonna use my brush to just take some of that and go around my contour areas so see it's a very subtle contour this is in a shade rich ebony by the way all products will be linked in the description box below oh my god i didn't tell you guys i finally opened an amazon store so i do have an amazon store front with every product that you guys see me use on this channel in my vlogs all products are there what i'm gonna do is i will always have my amazon storefront link in every video that i do best believe that every product that i use will also be there so you just need to click one link except if it's like a paid promotion or something but if you click that one link it will take you to every product that i use one thing with contour please be sure to blend into the hairline blend into the hairline that's the only way your contour is going to look natural and properly done make sure that you're blending in but also when you get to the parameters make sure that you're blending out that is that contour is done very subtle you know you, i'm i'm going to use the beauty blender to just go over it the beauty blender what it does is that it blends the contour and the highlight together so the meeting point or the mid mid area where they meet you just tap 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 around that area make sure that they are well blended together just so that you don't have like a sharp line for both products <clears throat> now i'm gonna do my nose contour i am using this brush i feel like this brush is very fancy the detailing that it has here but it's an elf brush it's just an elf sculpting brush for my nose contour i just drag it down from my brow from the beginning part of my brow follow the contour line that I uh, sort of already created with the concealer. See the reason why I use a concealer to do that? That was easy for me to just do a contour. And then when I get down here, I do a V. 
the the see and then i'm gonna drag this two in so i drag it inwards to meet the concealer or the highlights concealer that was there before just so that it blends in nice now i'm gonna go over it with the beauty blender again just to make sure that everything is subtle and nice that was a beautiful job now see the base this is the base that i'm talking about i feel like i should turn my exposure back up but if you guys are okay with this lightning comment below if it's not okay let me know so that i know that the brighter the light you guys like it or the brighter the light the better the view but look at the base i'm gonna go in with my powder to set my highlighted areas and this is the one that this is the one that we're using okay this is the one that we've been using for a while so that's the one that we're going to be using for a while i'm using my sonia kashuk blender this is their foundation brush actually but i used it for my under eye yesterday and it wasn't bad it's very steady it sets your under eye almost immediately see and because it's like a it's almost pointed it's very easy to go into like the corners of my eye but they say it's a foundation brush and i don't know nothing about that like i don't know jack about that <laughs> like i'm gonna use it for what i feel like it works for and this is exactly do you guys see like it makes the job very easy like i just go in these areas bam 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 i'm done and my under eye is set so usually when i don't want to like put extra powder i'm okay you know i want my under eye to look brighter that's when i go in with more powder because I low-key, low-key want my under eye to be slightly brighter. Uh, but I'm gonna do eyeshadow, so I feel like I should. I should give I should give that area a little bit of a set, you know. Very gentle set, very gentle bake. Not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera as usual. As per usual. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll do the eyes and then we'll give the whole look. A close curtain so for brow products let me just show you for brow products i'm going to be using the wet and wild cold crayon which means the wet and wild pencil but it's in the shade brown now sima brown now <laughs> so that's what i'm going to use to fill in my brows and just make sure that these brows are taken care of and then i'll be back and then we can do the rest of the face okay now we're going to move on to the eyes uh, probably oh remember when i told you guys i don't like to bake i actually don't i fear what is this i fear what this is gonna do at the end of my makeup but i have to do it still i'm gonna go ahead and conceal my eyeshadow lids if that's even the right thing to say but prep my eyeshadow area with the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade light beige i actually have this concealer in different shades i love the coverage that's why i got i got it in different shades so it's a staple i'm using a brush a brush makes it very easy to blend and also stays where you put it beauty blenders be acting crazy sometimes for the first color or for the first transition color we're going to go into the bh cosmetics take me to brazil super old duper 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 old palette <laughs> but i'm gonna go into the pink shade that i have i'm confused should it be this or that should it be this pink or that pink i think i like this pink it's a lot more brighter so i'm gonna go into that pink starting off with this eye i'm using this pink as a transition shade don't ask me why but that's that's the that's the look that i'm going for so just gonna use this blend that out in my transition area you guys know that i always say that makeup is all about blending eyeshadow is all about blending and building color so you don't just put one color and feel like mm, this palette is not pigmented no my sister you don't know how to do it <laughs> you really don't you have to keep going like you have to keep blending and blending till the color gives you 
the kind of gradients well no gradients like it gives you the the depth that you like okay are we bright enough are we pink enough no so i'm gonna keep going till i like what color i see oh i love this pink i feel like it will match so well with the black that I, oh it's so beautiful Ooh. so see the color just keeps building and it just keeps intensifying as i go <laughs> Doing makeup and just talking about makeup makes me so happy. It doesn't make sense, but it does. Okay, so now we have adequate pink. Now we have popping pink. Like, now we see the kind of pink that we want to see. And we don't want the pink to overshadow the black. I don't think the pink can ever overshadow black in any way whatsoever. But I'm going to go to the second eye boom both eyes are done i feel like this pink has a little glow to it in the corners but that's okay i'm not mad because like i said there's no way pink can overshadow black now i'm gonna go ahead and do black but because i want the black to super super pop like show itself like a black girl like myself i'm gonna use the nyx jumbo eye pencil this is in the shade black bean i first use that to Go over the area where I'm going to place the black and then I'll place my black eyeshadow on top of that. Just so that I have like a much, much deeper black. Just because I want the black to be very visible. I, I don't know if I should use a brush to do this or just go in because like... The black is going to be in the whole center. So... I'm just, I'm just trying to make it work, okay? So I'm going to go ahead with the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. It's an Essentials Palette indeed. And I'll reach for, I mean, I'll use the color black. It literally has a color here called black. So I'm going to use that to cover the black thingy that I put there. Just making sure. And boom, we have our deep black oh my god now that's what i'm talking about we freaking have a deep black without stress we have like a very pigmented black that we can rely on tell our troubles too because oh this is black <laughs> so now i'm gonna just smudge some of the pink underneath it and i am gonna also use some of the black on top of that not a black liner just a black eyeshadow again oh i look very goddess vibes like this look is definitely giving me halloween vibes i think i should have saved this look for halloween but i'm gonna do it again if i have to okay so that is the look now it's time to set my whole face i'm gonna use my maybelline 370 fit me powder brush is from evita joseph i've used this brush here so many times and if you don't like if you've been here for a while then obviously you know my powder technique and like my favorite powder to use and everything but this this combo and then like just it's like you're just tapping you know just you pick put there like this tap 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 keep tapping you know what i mean i'm putting a brush in my mouth but keep tapping keep tapping it's supposed to add coverage to the foundation that you put on that's what powder is supposed to do aside the fact that it's supposed to set the foundation is also supposed to add a little bit of coverage if you're foundation doesn't give you as much coverage so usually people go for darker foundations and a little bit of like a lighter um powder now i'm gonna go in with some blush the blush that i've been using for a while obviously is the nika k duo blush i am an orange blush girl if you're a black girl i keep saying this thing every time orange blush should be a thing or really is your thing 
because that's what will flat your skin trust me so i'm gonna take my sonia cashwick blush small point blush brush and then <laughs> i love to do my blush you know you already know smile smile put on your cheeks drag out see put on your cheeks so i place it how i place my blush right in between my highlight i mean like right between my concealer and my contour there's a middle area there i put it there to give me warm warmth i don't know if that's the real trick of blush but that's what works for me and it always flatter it flatters my face it makes me look see so on my cheek and then right in that middle area here and then I take it around the perimeters of my face for even more warmth. And because it's orange, when you put it around the perimeters of your face, you don't look red. That's why you have to use orange, because red is not for you, my love. <laughs> blush is done. I'm going to go over it with my powder brush again, just to make sure we're well blended and that everything, everything here is our friend. So that is done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face. Obviously, you know that I'll be using this because like, what else should I use, okay? So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Lasting Fist. <laughs> the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. It's a 16 hour set. set. <gasps> Can you just set your face and shut up? That's what I should do. Now for my highlighter, I'm gonna use the Milani, the Milani Berry Amore. This is what I've been using for a while now. It's their baked blush, but it has um, it has like shimmer to it, which is very beautiful for a highlighter. So that's what I'm gonna use. Oh, that's what I've been using for a while. It gives you a very subtle highlight. I'm gonna use the brush that I'm using is from Evita Joseph for my highlighter trick current trick that i'm using when i set my face i don't wait for my face to or i don't wait for i don't wait for the setting spray to like dry down completely like i make sure that i still have a little bit on and then i'm gonna go ahead and put on the highlighter so that way it holds the highlighter and then gives you a very like, nice glow i don't know how it does that but it's a trick that i picked from one other youtuber and it works it just works now i'm gonna go in with some mascara and let me just put you guys on to something real quick if you've been here for a while obviously you know this mascara this is the wet and wild mega length mascara but this is the travel size this is the first one that i got i think i'm almost through with this one but i picked up the big baby the big girl has towel and i absolutely love this mascara look at the wand can you guys see this wand It's a comb, basically. So it combs through the hair while distributing the mascara products, which I love about it. Because my hairs are very scattered. I don't know why. They're together. They're Oh, they're all over the place. Some is facing down. Some is facing up. Oh, my God. So this just really does a good job of like combing through and puts in all the hairs in place which i absolutely love about it i love it like for daytime makeup when you don't want to put on lashes oh this is the one that i reach for okay so lashes are done now this is how they look like so now what i want to do is i don't know if i'll mess it up but i really want to do it i want to use a white liner so i'm going to use the nyx jumbo eye pencil in the shade white or milk it's in a shade milk actually and i'm gonna use that to go in the waterline really oh it's not bad it's not bad i feel like it's going to make the eye look pop some more that's why i'm doing it for our lips i honestly don't know what to do and i don't want to do color because i don't want to I don't want to like 
I don't want to be too colorful like my face my lips no I'm gonna use the Revlon this is the Revlon super lustrous matte lipstick in the shade wild four zero zero four that's a wild four wild thoughts but in the number zero zero four so i'm going to line my lips first of all <laughs> okay guys yeah, so this is literally the finished look i wanted to play around with my hair but i feel like i should let it be it's okay pulled away from my face you guys can see the whole beat the whole base the highlight the bronzer everything literally the contour like i'm trying to say this the blush the blush you guys have seen how every product that i have used today literally made me look so this is the full look this is the full face this is what we're able to come up with and i like the lip i like the fact that the lip is not overpowering it hasn't taken all over my face like it hasn't taken the attention from the eye area which is good yeah this will literally be it for today's fall look or for today's get ready with me or whatever this was but i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you enjoyed me talking through the process and doing my makeup as i go but also comment below what kind of video you want to see next on my channel i really do be picking stuff from my comment area so please comment below what kind of video you'd love to see here makeup tutorial whatever just comment below and it just might pop up and also like i said before all products will be linked in the description box below my amazon storefront is linked so once you click it you find every product there so please do that check out for yourself follow me on all my social media platforms akusia and across all social media platforms i love you guys so much almost 500 subscribers let's do it we can do it i believe we can even do 1k by the end of the year see we can so let's do it let's put in the energy thank you guys so much for always coming here i love you i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye <laughs>